Chiswick Community School may seem an unlikely location for world records, but over one weekend, an attempt was made to lay over four million pennies in a line stretching 50 miles, so challenging the previous record held by the town of South Scott in Kansas, USA. It's all to raise funds for the Microloan Foundation. We make small loans to poor women living in the rural parts of sub-Saharan Africa, particularly Malawi and Zambia, and we provide training, mentoring and support, followed by money, so that they can start small, simple trading businesses, the profits of which are used to help their families, put food on the table, pay for medicines, pay for clothing, and send their kids to secondary school. So it's all the things that we, you and I take for granted. It was estimated that over a thousand volunteers would be needed to get into the Guinness Book of Records and there were some famous faces to lend a hand. I, I just really like the idea of taking part in something that's very simple, very hands-on and something for women. I think you're very safe putting your money in their hands, you know, and I think the notion of it building and, you know, women helping women, it's a very strong image and one that I think should appeal to everybody. When you actually think about how they're going to do it, and how they're going to tie you up afterwards, and the logistics of making it happen. For months and months and months they're wondering how they're going to do this, and there was a eureka moment where someone said, let's get tape involved. Apparently there's going to be £40,000 on the pitch by the time it's finished, so uh, I might get a quid down there, I don't know, sort of, it all counts, I guess. You know, whether we're beat it or not, it is going to depend upon the Chiswick community and how many people we can bring to Chiswick Community School to start laying these pennies. It is a really tough task, as it is working in Africa. I think you know, we'll know whether we're going to, to get the record towards the end of the day, when we can see how many pennies we've laid, and by the early part of tomorrow morning. By late afternoon the next day, the sheer scale of the task became clear as the man from the Guinness Book of Records assessed just how many pennies had been laid. And my colleague here, we've just measured it, and I'm sorry to say that the record has not been broken this afternoon, but this line that you've all made a huge effort to create is 7.22 miles long. We haven't got the record. It was always going to be a tough ask to lay 40 miles or 50 miles of pennies over two days. But I think, you know, we've raised £40,000 for the charity in order for us to do this, which is a great achievement. We've achieved a, sh a lot of publicity in the UK on radio and also in the press. So I think it's been a good win and we're, hopefully we'll be able to help a lot more people in Africa as, as a result. We now need lots of people to actually pick up the pennies, which is going to be a challenge. So we'll be working here late into the night unsticking.